Hi, everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about a concept called L'Hopital's Rule. Uh, L'Hopital's Rule is kind of bring, going to bring us back to limits. So we have to recall the limit procedures as x approaches a number. Remember, we always, always, always tried direct substitution first. And if we got zero over zero, that means we have a hole in the graph. And these are all of the things that we learned to simplify the expression. We could factor conjugates, common denominators, and use some trig identities or even those limit properties. And then once we were able to simplify it, we tried direct substitution again. So let's just review one of those so that we um, refresh our memories a little bit. So the first thing we're always going to try is direct substitution. So uh, as x approaches 2, we're going to plug in 2, so 2 squared, 7 times 2, plus 10, all over 2 minus 2. So the top is 4 minus 14 plus 10, so that's negative 10 plus 10, which is 0, and obviously the bottom, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we've got 0 over 0, which is a whole. So of these options here, I'm thinking we can factor because it looks like a polynomial. That might be easy for us. So let's A and M this. So the factors that add to negative 7 that multiply to 10 are x minus 5 and x minus 2. And then the bottom is x minus 2. So what we're going to do now is take the limit as x approaches 2. These will cancel, which is what we want. And now I can directly substitute my value back in. So since x was 2, we're going to put 2 back in. So 2 minus 5, we'll put it in for this guy. So the answer for this limit is negative 3. Okay, doesn't seem too bad. Let's recall some limit procedures as x approaches positive or negative infinity. Remember, this is that dominance theory. If the numerator and denominator grow equally as fast, the limit is the ratio of the coefficients. If the denominator grows faster than the numerator, the limit is zero. And if the numerator grows faster than the denominator, then the limit is either positive or negative infinity. So let's just take a look at this one. The limit as x approaches infinity. So we have to see which one grows faster. So we know that e to the net 2x is exponential and 2x squared is polynomial. So remember, this one is your exponential. And this one is your polynomial. So if we were to plug in infinity, right, direct sub, we could do that. e to the 2 times infinity and 2 times infinity squared. So 2 times infinity is just infinity. So e to the infinity is exponential growth. It's getting really, really big. It's getting to infinity. And the bottom would be 2 times infinity squared is still infinity. So infinity over infinity. So that just means that it's in this weird form. So that's when we go here and we say, which one is going to grow faster? Which one's going to win? So the top is exponential. The exponential one grows faster than the polynomial. So we need to know, is the answer positive infinity or negative infinity? And the answer is just positive infinity. And the reason why is because all of the coefficients here are positive. So positive infinity. So what does this have to do with L'Hopital's rule? So L'Hopital's rule is a rule that uses derivatives to find the value of limits. So here's the formal definition. If the limit as x approaches c of some fraction, f of x over g of x, if that limit is 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, we can actually calculate the limit as x approaches c of this fraction by taking the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So if we get 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, we can calculate that same limit by plugging in the value into the derivatives of the top and the derivatives of the bottom. So these were the first two examples that I did. So when we tried direct substitution, you still have to do that. So I'm going to put step one is direct sub. So I'm just going to rewrite it. 2 squared, 7 times 2, plus 10 over 2 minus 2. We did that, and we got that this equals 0 over 0. We did that on the previous page. So instead of factoring and then replugging back in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the concept called L'Hopital's. 
And what L'Hopital's rule says is I can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and then take the limit. So the derivative of this is simply 2x minus 7. And the derivative of this is simply 1. And we're going to take the limit as x approaches 2. So now we're going to simplify. We can divide by 1 and we get 2x minus 7. And we're going to plug 2 in. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So that's it. That is the answer that we got on the front page, right? Negative 3. Okay, let's try this one. Example number uh, 2. So we want to take the limit as x approaches infinity. So when we plug in step one, direct sub, we get it's e to the two times infinity over two times infinity squared. This again gives you e to the infinity, which is really big, infinity. Bottom is still infinity, so infinity over infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule because why? We got infinity over infinity. We could apply L'Hopital's rule here because it was 0 over 0. So step 2 now says take the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of the denominator, and apply L'Hopital's. So we're going to take the limit as x approaches infinity. So let's take the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of e to the 2x. Remember the rule for e. The derivative rule is same times the derivative of power. So the same, e to the 2x, and then the derivative of the power, or the derivative of 2x, is just 2. All over the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of 2x squared is 4x. Now we can simplify this 2 and this 4, leaving a 2 on the bottom. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the 2x over x. Now I want you to notice what happens. If I plug infinity in, I have e to the infinity over infinity. So I'm still at infinity over infinity. The goal is to keep going if we need to. I wrote a note here. You may need to take the derivative multiple times. So let's take the derivative one more time. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the denominator is easier. The, den the derivative of x is just 1. And now the derivative of e to the 2x, I'm still going to plug in infinity. I'm sorry, I'm going to take the derivative. So it's the same as we had here, right? Same derivative. So e to the 2x times 2. So now much easier to take the derivative when I plug in the infinity, e to the infinity times 2 is just infinity. Notice how it's no longer a fraction anymore, and the answer is just infinity. Okay, let's try some more. The more we do, the better we'll get at them. So example number three here, step one, direct sub. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put in a zero. So it's clear that the numerator is zero. Now the denominator, one minus cos of four times zero. We can say that's the same thing as one minus cos of zero. Four times zero is zero. So remember your unit circle, cosine of zero is over here, and cosine is the x value, so cosine of zero is one. So we can say that this is zero over one minus one, and zero over zero. Okay, so that works, direct sub. So because I have zero over zero, I can apply L'Hopital's. So that says I can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and then plug in my limit. So the derivative of 2x squared is 4x. Now the bottom. The derivative of 1 is nothing. And now the derivative of negative cos sine of 4x. So you need your sine, cos, negative sine, negative cos. So the derivative of negative cos is in fact sine. So it's sine of 4x, but then we have to do a chain rule times the derivative of the inside. We can cross off these x's, uh, excuse me, the 4's. So we have the lim as x approaches 0 of x over 
sine of 4x. So if I were to put 0 in and do my direct sub again, I would have 0 over sine of 0, and sine of 0 is over here. That's also 0. So I still have 0 over 0. So that's not okay. That means we have to keep taking the limit and the derivatives. So let's take the derivative of x. The derivative of x is just 1. And the derivative of sine of 4x, derivative of sine is cos. So we'll say cos of 4x and then times 4. So the limb, as x approaches 0, we can do now. So let's plug in 0. So the numerator stays, and we have cos of 4 times 0 times 4. So 4 times 0 is 0. Cos of 0 we know is 1. We did that before. So 1 times 4 is 1 fourth. And that is my limit. Okay, so I think we've said enough. I feel like you guys should try them. Uh, so I want you actually to try examples uh, 4, 5, and 6, these three here. Let's do those for homework, and that's where we'll start class again uh, tomorrow. So just to review before you get started, uh, we can only apply L'Hopital's rule if we are in a form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So the reason why these three we were allowed to apply this L'Hopital's rule was because I got 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or 0 over 0. Same concept. Okay? So you try those three, and then we will touch base tomorrow. Okay? Have a good night.